What's up guys? Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com. Welcome back to day two of our 30-day series on learning to model in SketchUp. So yesterday we modeled a table. Today we're going to model a shape that forces us to use a little bit more complex geometry in the way that it interacts. It's going to be a CAD fitting. Um, before we start, remember that I have 59 days now to try to pass SketchUp before base camp of this year and subscribers. 77% of the people that are watching my videos right now aren't subscribed. So if you could hit that subscribe button for some more great SketchUp content, I'd really appreciate it. Now, let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so today we're gonna model a fitting that looks something like this. And so this is just a CAD fitting that I made up, but it's a lot like a lot of different kinds of fittings that people create that has a bunch of like angles and recesses and other things like that. It's surprisingly more challenging than you would expect. So. What we want to do is we want to start off, we want to go ahead, we want to model this. Quick reminder to my SketchUp Pro users, even though we're doing this in the free version of SketchUp, I'm going to be telling you in the video specifically what to do in the desktop version as well. So just because this is in the free version doesn't mean this doesn't apply to you. And so where we're going to start is we're going to start by just roughing out the width of the shape and the shape of the shape. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to start by tapping the L key right here, and we're gonna click on this central point, then we're gonna move our mouse over, and we're gonna type in a value of three inches. So we assume this is gonna be three inches wide, and then it's gonna have, a, it's gonna have an overall length of six inches right here. So we're gonna type in a value of six and hit the enter key, and then we're gonna draw here, and we're gonna draw here. So what we've done is we've drawn our original base shape that we're going to work from. So now we need to give this some thickness. So the way that we can do that is we're gonna tap the P key to activate the push-pull tool. Remember that these keyboard shortcuts are the same in the desktop version as the free version right here. And that you can download the, uh, you can download the example files for this by going to the sketchupessentials.com slash 30 days. But um, with the push-pull tool active, we're just gonna single click on this face, and then we're gonna type in a value of 0.5 for half an inch. So now we've given this a thickness of half an inch. And so this, foot, this fitting is really made up of two different shapes. It's made up of a taller shape and a shorter shape. So the next step or the next thing we wanna do is we wanna draw that taller shape. So um, the way this works is this is going to be the taller half of this fitting is going to take up half of this object. So what I wanna do is I wanna use the line tool. So tap the L key and mouse over until you find this midpoint. Then you're gonna move your mouse and you're gonna click right here. So what that does is that splits this face into two different faces. And so from there, we need to extrude this other side up. And so again, we're just gonna use the push-pull tool. So I'm just gonna tap the P key, and I'm gonna push-pull this up another inch. So I'm gonna type in a value of one and hit the enter key. So now we've got our shorter half and our taller half. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna take this side right here, and we wanna add our curve across the outside. And so the way that's gonna work is each one of these sides, if we click on our entity info and look at this, has a length of three inches. Well, at the halfway point of this curve, we wanna have an arc that runs across this side. So the way we can do that is we can activate the arc tool by tapping the A key on our keyboard. So when we do that, I can mouse over here and I can select a base point and I can select an end point right here. And then, Notice how this allows me to set the bulge. Well, in this case, we want this to be a half circle. And so the half circle is going to be one and a half inches out like this. So if I hit the, or if I click, that's gonna place this half circle right here. Now, one thing about this is notice how when we drew this, this came in and it didn't have very many segments in here. Well, what that means is that means this looks a little bit rough. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a Control Z to undo this. And I'm gonna activate the Arc tool again by tapping the A key, but in this case, I'm gonna type in a value of 24. What that's gonna do, and then I'm gonna hit the Enter key. And so what that's gonna do is that's going to set the number of sides in this arc to a higher segment count, meaning it's going to be smoother. So I'm gonna type in 24 and hit the Enter key. Now, I'm gonna draw, and notice how the arc that we get now is much smoother than the arc that we had before because it has more segments in it. Well, then from there, we can just use the push-pull tool and we're gonna single click, move our mouse and move it down to the bottom right here. And then we're gonna click again and notice how SketchUp will automatically remove this material. Now, what we wanna do is remember that tools in SketchUp remember what happened the last time we used them. So what that means is that means that I can double click and it's going to do that 
again right here. So when I double clicked on that, it basically extruded this to the exact same length as the last time that the tool was used, which makes this a lot faster. So now what I wanna do is I wanna add the hole in the middle. And so that can be a little bit tricky. Um, we could come in here and try to find it with inferencing right here, but there's a little trick that I use to find the center point of arcs. And that is you can select an arc by left clicking on it. You can right click and you can click on the option for find center. Well, notice how when I clicked on the option for find center, what it did is it put a guide right in the middle of this arc. So this arc is basically coming off of this point right here, and this is the central point of that. Well then, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just going to mouse over this. I'm gonna tap the C key to activate the circle tool, and then I'm gonna single click, and I'm gonna type in a value of one inch. And so what that does is that gives me a two inch circle right here. And you can see that by coming in here, hold, clicking and holding, and going into the dimensions tool right here. In the pro version of SketchUp, you just find the tool in the large tool set that says dimensions. But you can basically mouse over this circle and then move your mouse in here and it'll give you a dimension that tells you this has a diameter of two inches. Well then, I'm just gonna push pull this until we get to this back face right here and that's gonna cut a hole in my object. Well then, I can tap the E key and I can erase this out. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna create the little recesses or the pullback that's in here along these two corners. And so the way that I wanna do that is I actually want to create guides in here using the tape measure tool. So remember that we can uh, activate the tape measure tool and then tap the control key until we see this little plus and we can use this to draw a guide. So I'm gonna draw a guide that's one inch in like this. So these are just one inch guides over and over again. Well then I'm just gonna draw a line across here. So tap the L key and then draw from this point to this point and this point to this point. And then I'm just gonna push pull this to remove this material. Then we can erase out these guides. So now what we want is we have a sloping piece that's going to run up um, the middle of this object. And so what I want here is I want this to basically be a half inch wide total. So what that means is that means I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna draw a guide. And so in this case, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna draw an edge and I'm gonna draw it a quarter inch, so 0.25 this way. And then I'm gonna draw a line across. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna draw a quarter inch line this way. Well then, I can draw a line up, I can draw a line up, and then I can draw lines to these points right here. So now we've got our central piece right here. So now I wanna draw the two tabs that are on the outside of this. And so we could do this a couple different ways. In this case, I'm just going to draw a line out, that's two inches, across, and notice how you can, um, with the line tool, you can draw a line, and you can set your first point and then you can hold the shift key in order to lock this to the green axis. But I'm just gonna mouse over this point right here and then right here. And then what I wanna do is I wanna draw an arc. And again, I wanna draw a 24 sided arc right here that runs across this surface. And I want this to be a half circle. Well then I can just erase out my extra like this. And before we extrude this up, we can go ahead if we want to and we can draw our circle. So I'm just gonna right click on this, click on the find center, and I'm gonna tap the C key in order to activate the circle tool. Well, in this case, I only want this to have a radius of a half inch. So I'm gonna draw a circle with a radius of a half inch, and then you can click on this face right here and delete out your extra material. Well then, all I have to do is push pull this up like this. Now, one thing you might wanna think about before you do this, because this is gonna be symmetrical, is I'm actually gonna take this whole thing and select it, I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode to create a copy. It's easier to do this when you're in two dimensional mode right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a copy. So again, remember you select this, tap the M key on your keyboard and tap control until you see the little plus. That's gonna put you in copy mode. 
Well, then I'm just gonna create a copy directly along the red axis. I'm gonna tap the S key to scale it. And then I'm gonna hold control and scale it about center to a value of negative one. You could also right click on this and do the flip along. I always flip it in the wrong direction, which is why I use the scale tool instead. But now I'm just gonna move this back right here. And then we're just gonna push pull these up to this thickness. So remember that I can double click with the push pull tool to extrude something that same distance right here. And then the last thing I wanna do is I just wanna create the recesses in here. So the recesses are really easy. I'm just going to find the midpoint with the line tool, draw a line, an eighth of an inch this way, and then a quarter of an inch this way. And then I'm gonna draw a line down. And let's say we wanted this to be half an inch off this surface right here. We could just use a guide in order to find that point. So I'm just gonna draw a line up, and notice how you need to put this on the line, not on a point, but I'm gonna type in a value of 0.5. And then we just have to draw this down, draw it across so it's aligned, and then we're gonna push pull it to a depth. But before I push pull it, I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode, make a copy right here. Well then, we can push pull this back by whatever the distance is from our top down. I think it's a half inch. So I'm just gonna push pull this back, half inch, double click, and we're good to go. All right, so I will link to the next video in the series on this page, and I'll make sure to put that link in here as soon as that video gets released. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can get the entire series and practice your SketchUp skills over the next 30 days. If you have any questions about anything we talked about, leave them down below, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.